Since I've posted the how to draw cartoon faces video, I've been getting a lot of questions from people wanting to add glasses to their character but not exactly knowing how to do that. So in this video, that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to give you a bunch of tips so that you know how to draw pretty much any kind of glasses that you want. Hello wonderful people, it's Genevieve and my goal here in this channel is to teach you all about illustration and design. So if you're new, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the weekly videos and so that you can join our wonderful creative community. And with that said, grab your drawing tools and let's get started. The first question you need to ask yourself before drawing glasses is which angle is my character's head facing? Is it seen straight from the front like this? Is it seen in an angle like three quarter or something like this? Or is it seen from the side, so a profile view of the head? If your face is seen from the front, you're probably just going to get the most basic glass shape. So here I'm just going to give you a really quick example with super oversized round glasses. You would just see, you know, the normal frame size with the little bridge over the nose. And then maybe you want to connect your frames with the ears so just a line that connects with the top of the ear usually i personally would not draw these little branches on the side i just pretend that the glasses are floating or something like that but you're rarely going to see a character straight up from the front like this usually there's going to be at least a tiny little angle in the head if that's the case you want to notice which side of the head is kind of normal and which side of the head is seen as compressed because of the angles in this case it is the right side and when that happens you're usually going to see the glass poke out from the side of the head a little bit and it's going to be less wide on that side a little bit not crazy intense but it is a very important distinction to make here i would usually go ahead and draw the branch on the side of the glasses but just one not both just the one on the normal side of the head now the side view is definitely the most interesting because you might be tempted to draw the glass like this, but this doesn't really make sense when you think about it. The glass is actually going to just be a line that sits in front of the eye like this, and then you're gonna get the branch that connects like this. This is not really a great look in general. I try to avoid drawing cartoon characters as seen from the very profile and tend to go more for three quarters or something in between. Now the really fun thing about glasses is that they can come in whichever shape, color, material as you desire. And that means you have a lot of freedom whenever you are either designing your own pair of glasses or if you're trying to reproduce a pair of glasses that you have in real life. There are so many little details that you can just tweak a little bit and are really going to change the whole design. So the main thing you might think about is the shape and color of the frame of the glasses. So here you can draw literally whatever you want. But you can also change the temples, so the little branches on the side. You can change the width, but you can also change where they connect with the frame, so where the hinge is going to be. You can also play with the bridge, so between the two little glasses I guess <laughs> and also you can change the actual glass color within the glass so once you know the basics you can really play and create any design that you want so experiment think about the shape a little bit and I'm going to show you how I personally would go ahead and draw glasses on a cartoon character So let's start with this little character here. Now, if you want to learn how to draw a cartoon face like this, you can always go ahead and check the cartoon face drawing tutorial that I was telling you about earlier. Otherwise, you can obviously pick whichever other character that you have and that needs glasses. So I personally like to draw glasses on a separate layer so that I can move them around really easily. So that's exactly what I'm going to start with, creating a new layer for the glasses. And here I'm going to be drawing super cartoonish chunky bright green glasses just so that we can see them really well but you might want to draw something a little bit more delicate than this and i start by just roughly mapping out the shape of the glasses and where they're going to be so something super simple and rough like this and then since i have them on a separate layer i go ahead and pick the error tool setting it to distort and just rotating and playing with the shape and the positioning of the rough sketch until i like what i'm seeing and at this point, I just go back in and refine, redraw the shape of the frame until I'm really, really happy with it. But again, here I'm going with something super bold, bright and chunky so that we see the glasses really well. I don't necessarily recommend you draw that on your own character, but <laughs> you certainly can if you want. 
And don't forget to draw the bridge, making sure that it is resting on the nose. For now, it's kind of overlapping the nose, but you can always erase it later, which is what I'm going to do. And if you want to draw the temple, so the little branch, you can also draw that. Now, at this point, you can refine again the shape as much as you want, mainly erasing this weird overlap here. So you just want to make sure that the nose looks like it's actually in front of the glasses because that's what it would be. And I also like to add the nose pad, so just two little ovals on the side of the bridge. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more detailing to the frame and then I'm going to show you what I would do with the lenses. And this to me seems like the perfect time for a secret password. So if you've watched this final video, please go ahead and comment sunglass. If you're new on the channel, you might be like, what? What's the deal with the secret password? Well, we've been doing this for a few months now and it's just really, really fun. It gives me a lot of insight into how to edit and pace my videos better, which helps me to create better tutorials for you guys. But it's also really cool because it allows us to see the creative community that we're building here on the channel, especially for me, because you guys know me, you see my face, you hear my voice, but I have no idea who you guys are. And whenever you leave a comment, I get to see your name, sometimes even your face. And it's just, again, really great to see the creative community that we're building here on this channel. So just go ahead and comment sunglasses and then we're gonna keep going with the lenses. Now I'm gonna be honest I rarely draw the lenses themselves I mostly focus on just drawing the light reflection on the glass so for that you can create a new layer below the frame and we're going to rename this one to light or reflection or whatever you want I, I mean it's a bit confusing in my case because I have the highlights on the glass frame itself but <laughs> doesn't matter we'll figure it out and we're going to change the blending mode of this light layer to either overlay or soft light both work really well it's just a question of preference for now i'm going to go with overlay and you can lower the opacity around 50 percent but i always go back and tweak it then all you have to do is set your brush to white and draw some diagonal lines across the frame so this is a really nice way of showing that there is something in the glass like there is a lens without actually you know adding extra bulk of color which can look really overwhelming on cartoons and you don't have to draw a lot just if you are going to do this whole effect for you and once you're done you can like i was telling you play with opacity until you find something that is not overwhelming but still noticeable but if you do want to have some color in your glasses so if you want to have tinted glasses you could go ahead and create a new layer below the frame and below the lights renaming it to tint and changing the blending mode again this time you also have overlay or soft light as an option i'm personally going to go with soft light now all you have to do is pick the color you want your glasses to be i'm going to go with this crazy green again and you can then just fill in the area of the lens to create colored or tinted lens so if you were to draw for example sunglasses this is a really nice way to do it you would probably not go with bright green you would probably go with more of a darker brown and if you go in the adjustment panel here at the top, if you select hue saturation and brightness for the entire layer, you can play with the sliders here that are going to allow you to change the tint of your lens. So that's a really nice way of quickly adding even more color to your character if that's what you're looking for. I also really like to add a shadow to my glasses. So for that, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new layer. I'm gonna hide the tint as well, just so that it's not overwhelming. So this new layer, I'm gonna rename to shadow, obviously, and I'm gonna change the blending mode of it to linear burn. Now you could also use multiply. I just like linear burn a little bit more. And for now, setting the opacity again at 50%. And in terms of the color, you would pick what you've picked for the rest of your character. In general, for my shadows, I'm going with a grayish purple, so that's what I'm going to go with here as well. And then I just add a line below the top part of the frame like this. You might also want to add a shadow below the temples, so like this, and maybe also on the side of the frame, but I rarely go under, otherwise, like you can see here, it makes the character look really, really tired and just weird, so I try to keep it mostly on the side and on the top. And don't forget to go back and play with the opacity until you get something that you're super happy with. It shouldn't be overwhelming though, it's just a nice way of having the glasses look a little bit more separated from the rest of the face. As you can see here, it's really subtle, but it makes the glasses pop a little bit more. And if you enjoyed this video and want to learn how to draw even more cute cartoon characters and animals, I highly recommend you check out this playlist in which I'm going to teach you exactly that. But before you leave, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of the weekly videos. Then just click on the link right here and I'll meet you there.